What if I have the image of this person and I want to turn him into Joker from Dark Knight? Well, then I can just go over to Google, type in Joker Dark Knight, select any image that I want, suppose this one, right click on it. I get this option that says recreate with Hicks field. I click on it. I choose the different options like the aspect ratio and other things and simply hit generate and with just one click I will be able to achieve the desired outcome. We'll also be seeing later on in this video how you can do this for product edits. But coming back to portraits, let's see one more example. So if we have this person and somewhere on the internet we found this image, we really liked it. So how can we copy its style and just with a single click achieve something like this. Here's another example we liked. This image anywhere on the internet, how can we achieve something like this with a single click? Single click. Yeah, right. Kush, stop exaggerating. But it is an amazing tool. So let's see how to do it. It might require more clicks than one, but it's still a very easy process. And this is thanks to the all new Hicks field reference tool that was just released a week ago. Initially, it was called Hicks field steel, but two days back, they changed its name to reference. So how does this work? This is basically a browser extension that you just have to install on your browser like Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Brave, any of the browsers that you have there. And from there on, any image that you like on the internet, whether it be on Google, Instagram, Pinterest, or any other website, you simply can copy its style and create a similar image inside Hicks field with a single click. So how does this all work? First of all, you go over to Hicksfield AI, you will create your free account. This can be done on the free account, but remember, ultimately, you will have to generate the image. And on the free account, it's quite a known fact that Hicksfield sometimes can even take over a day to generate a simple image. So I would highly recommend that at least you sign up for the basic $9 per month plans just so that your images can be generated faster. Otherwise, this extension you can download even on the free plan. So after you create your account, there are two ways to access this extension for your, for, uh, for your browser. One of the options is that since it's a new tool, right now Hicksfield people are advertising it right here on this bar. So you can click on this. Or if this is not there, you can just scroll down all the way to the bottom and you're going to find this option that says reference extension. You just click on it. It'll take you to the extensions page for your browser. I already have it installed. If I didn't have it, it would say add to Chrome. So I would just click on that and install it. And that's it. You don't need to do anything else. Now let's see the examples. So first of all, let's start off things with a very simple example. I go over to Google and I just typed in beautiful forest. Because this extension is already installed, now what I can do is if I like any of these images, let's say for example this one, I just right click on it, recreate with Hicks field, I can select the aspect ratio, let's say I want to go for something like a landscape thing, and that's it, I just hit generate, and I can right now just from here go back to Hicks field, and it will use the Hicks field sole image generator and it'll start generating the image. And in some seconds, I'm gonna get a forest that looks exactly like the one that we liked. All right, so our generations are ready and you can see that this looks very similar to this image that we had liked. It's not gonna be a 100% replica, it's just that we are basically copying its style. But just creating random images like this is of no use. The real benefit of this tool is when you combine it with Hicks field character, which allows you to basically upload a few images of a person, train Hicksfield Soul, the AI image generator, on how that person looks, and then we can use that to create consistent characters. So if you go over here to character, we can just upload some images of a person here. I've shown this in detail, the character tool, which in a tutorial which was dedicated to this in this video. So if you haven't checked it out, I'll leave the link to this in the description. You can check it out later, but basically we upload a few images of the person that we want this model to be trained on, and after you upload your images, it's gonna take some time, but then you will get your character like this. And then you can do anything with it. So just like the Joker example I had shown you initially in the video, let's say I go back to Google and I just typed in Iron Man. Well, any of the images, I can just right click, let's say this one, recreate with Hicks field. Now this time, just have to do one additional thing on the character here, I'm gonna select Jack, and then I'll just select the aspect ratio. So this time I'm gonna go, go for one is to one, that's it. I just hit generate and let's go back to Hicks field. And in some time we will see this. There's no prompting required. There's nothing at all. This is the fastest way to do this.
And it's especially helpful if you're ever finding yourself not being able to come up with something because just going through some Google images, you know, you can just get rid of that mental block and always find something that is going to inspire you and then you just copy it. And you can see that just like that, we have got these four images and you can see the consistency is amazing. So Hicksfield Soul is definitely one of the best out there and combined with this tool, it just works in an amazing manner. Let's see some other examples. So this time, let's say the character that we're using in Hicksfield is this woman and we just want to basically do a virtual photo shoot for her in an outdoor environment. So let's say I've just typed in Google woman portrait, that's all. And I'm just looking and scrolling to find any sort of an outdoor image that I really like here. So let's say I really like this particular image. I can just see, yes, this looks good. I would love to copy its style. Well, again, just recreate with Hicksfield. This time I just have to make sure I select my other character, which was already trained, which is Jane AI. And again, I select an aspect ratio. Let's go for something taller. I've already done this, so let me show you the result. And you can see that we have got four images which look exactly like that original image, but with our own person. Again, no prompts. And with a few clicks, the job is done. Let's see one more example of this. So here's another image that I really like. Let's do the same thing here. And this time let's go, yeah, we'll go for the taller one. That's not a problem. And let's see the results here. And you can see that all these four results also look absolutely amazing. In fact, I would say the images created by Soul look much better than the original image itself. So this was how you can use it for portraits, but how can you use it for products also? So let's see that. So let's say I've got this image of my own product, like this perfume bottle, and I'm just kind of stuck. I can't really imagine what prompt to write and how to turn this into a professional looking shot. Well, it's not a problem anymore. I've just written perfume product photography on Google. Literally just, you know, take your pick, whichever image that you like here. So let's say I really like this image. So again, I do the same thing. Now this time, the initial image that will be created, we'll just have to remove the character because remember this is a product. So this is not for a portrait. So we'll remove the character. Just select our aspect ratio. Let's say I go for one is to one. And first of all, I'll just generate the image. Now that this image that is gonna come up in Hicksfield is not gonna be of our own bottle. But remember Hicksfield also has Hicksfield canvas. So we can always replace the bottle in the image that is created right now. So first of all, let's look at this image. All right, so you can see these images that have been generated look exactly like that original image. Now we just need to replace the bottle. So we can go over to canvas and then we'll go over to product. And if you haven't watched my in-depth tutorial on Hicksfield Canvas, you can watch this video later on. Again, I'll leave the link to that in the description. Basically, right now we are just on this left bar, we can select this particular image. And then all we need to do is use the masking brush to select the bottle. And Hicksfield Canvas is very, very easy. Again, you don't really need too many complex prompts. Uh, remember, I will also need to just get in the reflection this time. And once I have masked everything out, I can just add the photograph of my own perfume bottle right here. And then in the prompt, I can just type in replace the bottle and just hit generate. And in some seconds from now, we'll get our own bottle here with a style that we just copied from the internet. So for some reason today, Hicksfield canvas is just not working. And in these areas where the results are supposed to come, you can see that it says fail to generate the image. I've tried this a lot today. That can sometimes happen with uh, some of these AI tools, but I had done this with exactly the same image before, and this was the result. So yes, usually it will work and it will replace your object seamlessly. So you can see how easy Hicksfield Reference has just made creating these consistent images. Basically, you like something on the internet, you can steal it and nobody can sue you. In case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And for more AI editing tutorials, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.